Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we are celebrating finishing our first ever Nuzlocke with doing a Smasher Pass on all of the uh, Generation 1 Pokemon. Um, I have to tell you guys, I know most of you know, but I'll tell you guys. Um, when I went on a trip <laughs> this past weekend or the weekend before that, uh, I got the vid. I got the COVID. So I'm sorry if my voice is a little messed up. I'm recovering. I've actually been okay today, but um, my voice is still kind of like jacked. So I apologize for that. You want to see the babies? Okay. I don't think the baby cam is in the right spot. Let me adjust that for you. All right, there we go. Close enough. Oh, and now she's gone. All right. Oh no, Koneko. Well, I have to say Kendra got the first today. So I'm very sorry, Koneko, that you got the first. Um, I don't know, we'll see how the stream goes. It's always good luck when Koneko gets the first. Um, Welcome in Koneko, welcome in Kendra, welcome in our new friend, Mr. Pizza. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, welcome in Razapoop. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Um, so, okay. So, do the new gifts work? I saw that Landon worked. Did Colonel work? Kendra, did that gift work? <clears throat> I wasn't sure. I wanted to make sure. Yeah, I mean, you should. It should definitely notify you, especially of my streams. Like, what the fuck, Twitch? All right. He did. Okay. Fabulous. All right, guys. So, we have a new chat game that we are going to use going forward. Um, you know, I love Pokemon. So we have a Pokemon chat game. You can find the information about it if you put in exclamation um, PCG for Pokemon chat game. All right. So that's the document. That's the, they put that together, the people that made the bot. So you need to do exclamation Poke start like this. Now I've already started, so it's not going to work for me. But that's what the command looks like. You can see it says you already have a pass. That's how you get started. You scroll down to my about. You will see that there is a new like window that has all of the stuff in there for it. Um, so that as you turn it on, you can um, you can kind of like track what's going on. So when you have this game going, there's two main things you need to know. Oh, that means you already have it, Kendra. So you already have it. Um, so if you scroll down, you'll see whatever starter Pokemon you started with whenever you started it in someone else's stream. So what there's really two main things is what the way the bot's supposed to work is every 15 minutes, it's going to say that there's a Pokemon available and you can do okay, catch like this. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> so then it will let you catch the Pokemon. You can put in a ball type if you want to catch it in a specific ball or whatever. Now it says, oops, you can only catch Pokemon in live channels. I'm pretty sure I'm a live channel, so I don't really know why it's saying that. I might have to, maybe it's not working today. I don't really know. They also have a Discord server, and the reason why I'm going to link the Discord server is because in there, they have a thing called Poke Daily, where you can like exclamation Poke Daily in the Discord server and get items and stuff for it. Um, so yeah. I want to see if I can Google that error and figure out what's going on. Um, chat game. Yeah, I don't know. I swear I set this all up, but for some reason it says that. Um, of course I had closed Discord when I was playing. I'm gonna have to write that down, and um, contact them in Discord to try to figure out what the heck is going on. Cause I am live, so I don't know why it says that. Maybe just cause there's no Pokemon to catch right now. I don't know. So hopefully this works. Um. If it doesn't, I apologize. Uh, maybe we'll get it working next time. I was trying to debut it this time. So. If I go to my channel, I just if I scroll down like it's there, right? Yeah, it's totally there. So what in the heck? Yeah, I guess it does need to spawn, but I would have thought it would give in a different error message because one hasn't spawned yet. Yeah, no, I agree with that, Koneko. I just thought the error message would be different. So I don't know. Anyway, it's supposed to work. So we'll see. It should be, it should trigger every 15 minutes or so. Um, 
So yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, you guys. We have got a very special quiz. We've got a very special quiz for you today. Okay. Since we're doing a Smasher Pass on all of the Pokemon, we're going to do what kind of horny are you? Hopefully YouTube doesn't mind that word so early in the stream. Here we go. <clears throat> Let me catch the emotion of a Pokemon in my heart. Aw. Okay, so here's the quiz we're going to do today. It says, people are horny all the time. Do the quiz. I swear it's fun. Okay, let's find out. Let's start easy. Pick a random reaction pic I have on my cell phone. Okay, so we've got the Geico Gecko with you have the power to end these patterns. We've got sparkly um, SpongeBob characters. I don't know what this is. Um, someone dressing up as like a goblin or something. Get, you know, face paint on or whatever. What if God just put us here for his own entertainment? Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like this one. Oh, yeah, this is good. Oh, and she got melted ice cream. Oh, well. Anyway, we're, we're going with this one. Me asexual hypothetically. That's right. Bag on escaped. No one caught it. Well, Pokemon, you didn't tell me there was a bag on. Like, what the heck? I don't know. Why? Anyway, hopefully it'll tell us next time. Um. That there's one available? That was weird. All right, pick a one-liner that I read on Tumblr. Have fun, even if it's not the same kind of fun everyone else is having. For all my despair, for all my ideals, for all that, I love life. My heart is restless, and I think of things that hurt me. I pray for God to crush me, break me up into little pieces, and start all over again. Wish I was a bimp at the bimbo summit right now. I urge you, bite me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Let's go with this one. We're going to have fun. Even if it's not the same kind of fun as everybody else. I'm sorry. I'm probably going to clear my throat like a gajillion times this stream. So sorry for that. <clears throat> Pick a horny book. We've got Jane Eyre, Normal People, Call Me By Your Name, A Streetcar Named Desire, The Silence of the Lambs, or Dawn. Definitely have to go with Silence of the Lambs for a horny book. Although Dawn... Silence of the Lambs. Pick a person with an iconic nose. Focus on the face. Ignore gender. Just look at their nose. Look how their nose looks on their faces and pick your fave. Okay. So we got some large nose people. Okay. Um, I feel like I have to go with Barbara Streisand. Like, that's pretty awesome nose. Good. possible but unusual body feature would you like to have violet eyes which is how i refer to ocular albinism two eyes of a different color third nipple it's fine like this thanks i'm sure all all of these have a con oh um having four cones that transmit color to your brain instead of having just three this is called being a tetrachromat and it means you 100 million colors heart on the right side of the chest oh that one's weird um, this quiz actually realized that I'm queer and I appreciate that. Oh, that's good. I'm excited. Okay, let's see what happens. Um, I would definitely go with, I think, the four cones. I'm here for seeing more colors. Okay, and now which impossible body feature would you like to have? Colored tears, sweet sweat and saliva that tastes a flavor you would like. Whoa. <laughs> you can't sense the taste, though. It's for whoever else is licking. Okay. Um, skin changing color at will. It's fine like this thing, so there's another non-answer. Changing my voice at will, like how you like how someone's voice sounds, copy it. It's also a great party trick. Being able to hear the music that enters my ear echo through all my body, hearing the music actually inside, not just feel it. Um, we're going with the taste thing for sure. I like that one. Oh, here's Koneko's answer. Every letter in the LGBTQ plus horny, and maybe with a hint of kinkiness, it depends not that the two always go together. The strongest component of your horniness is feeling good with the whole sphere. You're euphoric about variety, and your thirst for has no parallel with your curiosity. The sky is not even the limit. Note, I made this category thinking exclusively about Tori and Electra. I hope that helps. Bye. <laughs> um, it says I'm an intellectual. Well, maybe you are, Kendra. That, that's not bad. Um, which song talks to you the most? Love My Way, March of the Black Queen, Hey You Got Drugs, um, Angel of Small Death, and Cozy I Want to Be Your Slave, Filthy Gorgeous by Scissor Sisters. Um, we're going to have to go with Love My Way. Pick 
the title of a horny movie. Even if you've seen them, judge only by the title. So could I say Stranger by the Lake, Read My Lips, Woman on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, Anatomy of Hell, Stick It, or The Night Porter? Uh, the Night Porter, based on the title only. Oh, uh, your horniness is sophisticated. Classics, scholar, and Italian villa sophisticated, but also has a certain darkness to it, which is something very um hot. Maybe you should call me? I don't know. You're not lewd in an overtly sexual way. No, there's a note of effective subtleness in you that makes you alluring. There's a difference between being attractive and inviting, and you know that very well. Okay, I do think actually that's true for you, Kendra, I have to say. Okay, we're not filling that out. What type of horny am I? Oh, I got the gay one. <laughs> um, Maybe with a hint of kinkiness, it depends. I mean, we already read this one because Koneko got it, so we twinned today. We twinned. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is really totally true for me, but I guess. I, I Maybe it's just like if you have eclectic taste, this is what you get. Oh, feral is an answer. I wish I would have got that. Titillated the intellectual one. Sad, horny. This probably actually fits me quite a lot. Otherworldly horny. Oh, okay. Uh, horny, just horny. This was a fun one, you guys. This was a fun one. <laughs> You're the type of horny that's like the most fun to see in some ethics. Yeah. Yep, we are twinning today, Koneko. Okay, let's switch back to the webcam for a second. All right, setting this up. So here we go, you guys. It's time to smash or pass. So we've got this website here. It's beautiful. I thought it looked really nice. This is what we're going to use, okay? You're going to definitely notice some trends, I think, in my preferences, but you guys have to tell me too. Now, we only have like a little less than two hours. So we're going to go through these pretty quick. I'm not I'm going to try to not like sit and um and go too hard. So when you guys vote for yours, you just need to put like Bulbasaur or like the number and write like smash or pass, okay? Bulbasaur definitely pass for me. It's too young looking. Okay, it's too young lo young looking. I'm not I'm not in the I'm not here for the shot of lolly. I'm just not here for that. Sorry. Um pass. Okay, Ivysaur. Oop, yes. There we go. Ivysaur. Um, definitely kind of the same. It looks like a teenager pass. But this right here, this looks like an adult. Smash. Okay, smash on the Venusaur. So pass, pass, smash. Now this website also has like the megas, and you know it's all about the aesthetics, right? So um, Mega Venusaur. I don't know. To me, this is like too much going on. It's too much, so I'm pass on this one. I think of the Bulbasaur line, I'm here for regular Venusaur. Okay, Koneko is not for the, the Bulbasaur line at all. All right, oh, and there's Gigantamax Venusaur, if you're interested in him. I think this is unfair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just imaginary. A Pokemon aren't real, so you can't actually smash them, Koneko. So it's just like in the imagination, right? So. Yes. Um, but Gigantamax Venusaur, I don't know, smash. Like, it doesn't look as crazy to me. And like, I don't know. I mean, I, I like the, the design of the flower coming down. Pass on the giant. All right, Charmander. Again, baby, pass. Sorry. Awkward teenager, pass. Charizard, though, smash. Definitely here to smash for the Charizard. Mega Charizard? A little too spiky for me with those wings. Pass. Pass. <clears throat> but Mega Charizard, why? Back to Smash. Okay. Smash, big smash. I feel you, Kendra. I feel you, Kendra. Yeah. So Smash on the Y, pass on the X, but Smash on the regular as well. Here's Gigantamax Charizard. Uh, definitely Smash. The Flame Spit, pass. Smash on this one. Like, he looks like a hell monster. Like, he's so awesome. X is more tempting than Y, but I think it's still pass. Oh, really? I love the Charizard line. Charizard. No pass? Oh, my God. You guys are crazy. Okay, here we go. Squirtle. Again, baby. Pass. Oh, what's happening? Okay, four turtle. Pass. Last choice, though. Smash. Okay. Smash. Tony have tiny head. <laughs> oh, y'all are funny. Pass, pass. What about Blastoise, Koneko? 
about Blastoise. All right, Blastoise also has a Mega. I really don't think that this one looks super different. It's just got some guns coming out of it. So like, I don't know, Smash, I think. Nine Smash, that's right, Kendra, that's right. Debatable, Mega is nope. What about Gigantamax though? This one is a little too aggressive for me. Pass. Like, this is a lot of guns here. Like, this is a lot. There's a lot of them. A lot of blasting. Pass. All right, Caterpie. Pass. Nope. Yeah. No one likes the Gigantamax. He's too much. He's too much. <laughs> so definitely pass on the Caterpie. Pass on the Metapod. Um, and pass on the Butterfree, too. I don't think I'm here for, like, any of the Caterpie line. I love Butterfree. Like, aesthetically, I think it's beautiful, but um, fucking smash or pass, like, pass, pass. Yeah, pass. And honestly, I feel the same way I think about the, um, oh, wait, there's a Gigantamax Butterfree. I forgot about that. Uh, pass, though, I think. I pass on the Gigantamax Butterfree. It's all wing. No, it's all wing. And there's better wings. Better wings in the Pokemon. Butterfree I'd take on a date. That makes sense, Koneko. Platonic, yes. Platonic would love. Okay, Weedle Lime. Honestly, I feel the same way. It's pass on on like all of these for me. Idril. If he if he said the right things, I would consider, but not really, not really. Like he'd have to impress me. You know what I'm saying? He'd have to impress me. Say, I'm definitely pass on Mega Beedrill. No, this is like too much. So aggressive. Those eyes. Uh uh. I mean, I like aggressive, but this is like, you know, and it's like so angular. <coughs> All right, Pidgey line. <coughs> Maybe Thursday was too ambitious to do another stream. <laughs> Definitely Mega B. Someone's into Mega B drill, but it's like aggressive and sharp. Like, if you're going to be that aggressive, I need like fuzzy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. All right, Pidgey line. Um, just like before, like I just I can't pass on the babies. Um, Pidgeotto though, Pidgeotto. I don't know. Those wings are nice, and he looks nice and fluffy. Um, smash on Pidgeotto, and definitely smash on Pidgeot. Um, but pass on the Pidge. Um, and smash on Mega Pidgeot, like. I, I like the Pidgey line. I like it a lot. Just the regular Pidgey's too baby. But once it evolves, I think I think it's pretty cool. It's a good design. Nice big wings that can give you good hugs. Oh. No? Smash, but ten and mega de mega definitely smash. Yeah. I just feel like nice big wing wing pin for hugs. All right, Koneko, go plug in. Okay, Rattata line. Um, pass on the Rattata, baby Rattata. Pass on the Alolan form. I do like the Alolan form better, but it still like looks baby to me. Uh, Eradicate though, smash. It's fluffy. It's like it's round. It's so cute. Um, I just gotta stay away from the teeth. You know, those teeth are a little bit big, but like, smash on Eradicate. Then we've got the Alolan form Eradicate. Um, I would consider Alolan form Eradicate too. I would consider, but you know, he'd have to like talk a good game. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not opposed. So he's like so round and fluffy. You know? That's good. That's good for Smash. I'll know how it goes. Those teeth. Kendra! <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. You know I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. Spiro line. Okay. Pass on this Spiro, of course. Maybe. Firo, though, I definitely prefer the Pidgey line. Firo is a little bit, like, angry-looking to me. But, um, oh, here we go. So watch, you can poke a catch. Like this. You got 90 seconds. And then we'll see who wins. Here we go. Okay, so Firo is a maybe for me. I mean, I'm leaning more towards pass, but, like, yeah. Hero line is definitely not as good as Pidgey line. Ekans, though, okay. Pass on the regular Ekans because it looks like a baby, but hella smash on Arbok. Hella smash. Like, 
I don't know what it is about snake monsters, but like that shit's hot, you guys. It is. Okay. Big smash on Arbok. Big smash on Arbok. The other thing for the Ekans line. 24 smash. Yes. Yes. Paneko, don't forget to type exclamation Pokecatch so you can try to catch the Akinia that, that appeared. All right. Pikachu line. Pass on Ekans line. Although I can just say Survivor should have been an Arbok evolution. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Okay, there's like multiple Pikachus in here. I'm pretty sure I'm past. Yeah, like I'm past on all of them. Okay, like the regular Pikachu, the Gigantamax Pikachu. They just like, they have baby face. They're just too cute. You know what I'm saying? Um, Raichu also. Um, It's like, I don't know. Let me look at the other Raichu. Oh, no, I smash on Alola Raichu. Okay, here we go. Pass on this Raichu, but smash on the Alola Raichu. It's so round. It looks so round. Fun. Pikachu line pass. Yeah, it's definitely not like Pikachu line's not that exciting. You know what I mean? Congratulations, Kendra. You caught the Cacnea. So that's the new game. So they'll it'll go off every 15 minutes, supposedly. Um, about getting a Pokemon. Alright, next is our Sand Shrew line. So we've got regular Sand Shrew, we've got the Alolan Sand Shrew, and then we've got Sand Slash. Okay. So I know I'm definitely like typically against the babies, but here's the deal with the sand tree line. It's cute, okay, and like round, and it's not very fluffy, but the regular sand tree is a maybe for me, okay? But a lowland form, it's cold, it's ice and steel type. Pass. Hard pass. No, I'm the opposite, Koneko. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a, a opposite. I would smash. Okay. And then Sand Slash, you know, he's got the porcupine kind of thing going on. Definitely pass on the Alolan form because it's cold. But this is like, I don't know, maybe. But I'm more interested in the regular Sand Shrew, I think, than Sand Slash. Okay. Nidorans, Nidorans. Definitely pass on the baby Nidoran. Um, Nidorina, it, it does the same thing as like the starters to me for its middle evolution. It just looks like an awkward teenager. The pass. Um, but smash Nitto Queen, like that design is so good. You know that design is so good. Like, look, it's got like really nice boobas right here. It's got like really inviting mouth area. It looks cuddly. Yeah, smash. Nitto line debatable on Final Evils, but probably pass. Yeah, and then <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Anyways. Same thing for Nidoran. Pass. Pass for Nidorino. And Nitto King. Definitely smash. Definitely smash. I think out of the Nitto line, Nitto Queen is the best, followed closely by Nitto King, and those are definitely in the smash category. But pass on all the others. Definitely take Nitto Queen on a date, though. Yeah. Smash. Exactly, Kendra. Feel me. Yeah. All right. The fairy line. The fairy line. Okay. Two baby. I'm interested, but too baby. It, the, you're too young. Cliff. Like, stop. Just don't look at me like that. Stop. Okay. LaFable, smash. Right. Where's Jane? To tell me how much these type of Pokemon sucks. Where is she? Smash, LaFable. Okay. Whatever. Whatever she says. Oh. A favorite is coming up next, you guys. A favorite is coming up next. Okay. I got to pass on the Vulpix, this two baby, okay? Table's too scary. It's not scary, okay? Pass on the Vulpixes, both the Vulpixes. They're, um, they're two baby, but mash. Y'all, I almost put nine tails on the thumbnail for, like, because I was thinking about, like, what are the most, what are the Pokemon that I know I'm going to be like, yes, 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 smash. Okay, nine tails. Love this design. It's so fluffy. It's so cute. It looks so nice, but it like looks, you know, like like it's in charge. Like it's, you know, it's Nine Tails has got it figured out, you know? Nine Tails has got it figured out. It's like it understands it's fluffy on top of that, like it's awesome. And actually, definitely smash on the Alolan form as well. Regal. Yes. Regal. It would be like like a prince. Yeah? Like the Nine Tails would be like a prince. 
Ponto Vulpix is my Pokestina. Oh, I love that. I love that, Koneko. That's true. I did know that. I knew that because you told me that before. Yes, Vulpix is a really awesome Pokemon. Okay, Jigglypuff line. We've got Jigglypuff, pass, two baby. Wigglytuff, smash. Okay, definitely smash. Um, I just, you know, I just like this. I like this shape. Round. It's awesome. Pass on the Jigglypuff line. I understand. I mean, if you if you didn't like the Clefable line, I feel like they're very similar. Very, very similar. Too scary. <coughs> a platonic sleepover. They would do a murder. Yeah, but isn't that interesting, Kendra? Aren't you interested in that? I'm interested in exploring that. You know what I mean? All right. Next is our Zubat line. Um, pass on the Zubat. He has no eyes. I just he has no eyes. I, no eyes. I can't. Okay. Bullbat has eyes, but there's no like arms there. It's just wings. So I think for me, it's a pass on the Golbat too. Really tough is like a body pillow, and I'd leave that implication for you to figure out. I agree with you. I agree with you. I think maybe our tastes are just different. But yes, Wigglytuff is totally a body pillow. Yeah, pass on the Zubat line. Not interested. All right, Oddish. Oddish. Uh, pass on Oddish is two baby. Gloom, pass. I don't know. I'm just not into like the closed eyes. I don't like that. I don't like the closed eyes. Yeah, um, pass. Vile Plume. Vile plume, though, I would consider. Like, I'm not that interested, but like, I wouldn't say no. Like, if Vile Plume asked me, like, that's what we're talking about. But I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't, per I wouldn't like hint or flirt or anything. You'd have to start with me, you know. <coughs> yeah, it's G one, so no crowbat. All right, Paris. Paris line, uh, pass. Pass Paris. Pass Parasec. I don't like this line. I don't think they're cute. I don't think they're sexy. I don't think they're anything. I'm Sorry. Nanonat. Nanonat for me is a pass. Beno Moth, I think, also is a pass. But as far as like these like flying bug Pokemon, like the Butterfree and, and Beedrill and Venomoth, I do prefer Venomoth um to all of those, but it's still overall a pass for me on this line, I would say. <clears throat> Venomoth tentative, maybe a platonic date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I'd sit down and um and like talk to Venomoth, but I just don't don't think I would close the deal. You know what I'm saying? All right, next we have the Diglet line. So um the regular Diglet, again, it just looks too baby, pass. Um, but a a lowland Diglet, Diglet's got a little hair. I don't know. Like the hair kind of like makes it for me. Um, it's okay, like maybe, right? Doug Trio though. Doug Trio smash. Okay. Both Doug Trio and Doug Trio with hair. Okay. Definitely smash. Diglett pass is too baby looking. Doug Trio smash. Both of them. Alolan or Kanto, either time. Diglett line's probably someone's kink. Yeah, I mean. I mean, looking at the design, I can definitely get some ideas. Like, Diglett, it definitely, like, strokes the cre creative, you know, juices. It gets the creative juices flowing. Diglett gets the creative, or Doug Trio gets the creative juices flowing. All right, Meowth. So Meowth is interesting, because it's impossible for me to look at Meowth and not think of the Meowth that's the Team Rocket one from the anime. And he's kind of, like, you know, a little bit sassy. Right? So if we're talking about that Meowth, smash. If we're talking about, like, a regular Meowth, pass, I would say. Um, Alolan, pass. I don't know. Like, okay, this is so stupid. Meowth, cute round design. And they made it, like, so round that now it's off-putting. I don't know why they did this. This, like, cute roundness. Like, and then it's like Uncanny Valley roundness. No, nothing's head is this round. Uh, Glarian Meowth also pass. Uh, 
yeah, I just, I mean, it's fuzzy and stuff, but like, where's its nose? I don't know. I just, the face is weird. Okay, and Gigantamax Meowth. Okay, Gigantamax Meowth, I have to say, <coughs> is Smash. All right. <coughs> some cats are that round. I'm sure some are, but they look weird, okay? Koneko, they look weird. Long Cat is sensitive. Yeah, Long Cat is Smash for me, but the others is more. Persian, however, Persian, I mean, Smash. Like, it's elegant, you know? Kind of just the same way as like the the nine tails was i mean i'm not as interested in persian as i was nine tails but like it's elegant like in nine tails so smash but again they make the face like so weirdly round so alolan persian i'm back to pass so yeah alolan persian needs some dates first yeah like let me get to know you i'm unsure your look is a little bit off-putting sir let me uh let me get sure first. All right. Psyduck line. Psyduck line. Um, I'm, I'm sure that, like, somebody's into this, but I don't know. I'm not, like, like, pass. It's just boring to me. Psyduck's design is just kind of boring. Like, I mean, he's interesting. He's funny in the anime, you know, with the headaches and stuff. Like, he amuses me, but the design just doesn't do it. Bullduck also pass i don't know it's just you know there's nothing wrong with this there's nothing wrong with his looks it's just not interesting you know all right thank you line he's a little bit baby the beak is wrong yes okay yes the beak it, shorter beak would yes i think yeah kendra i think you're right Okay, Mankey line, too baby, looking as Mankey. But as primate, smash. Okay, I mean, it's just a fuzzy person. Like, that's just a fuzzy person with, like, cat ears. Smash. Like, I'm here for that. You know? Cool with me. <clears throat> pass the crepe. You don't want to note your pass on the primate? Don't trust the nose. Oh, the nose is fine. It's like a little pig nose. It's fine. It, it probably takes good boops. Like, boop, boop. Okay, Growlithe. Um, for Growlithe, two baby, of course, pass. But Arcanine, we can consider. Definitely smash on Arcanine. Absolutely. Like, the fire type, so it'll be warm. So fluffy. Like... Definitely smash when it comes to Arcanine. Yeah. Pass, but with babysit. I would totally babysit a Growlithe, too. That'd be so cute. So cute. All right. Poliwag. Poliwag, two baby. Pass. Poliwhirl, no mouth. Pass. Poliwrath, no mouth. Like, it's like this is supposed to look like a mouth, but it's like not. They just, they have no mouth. Pass. Like, pass on this whole line. Like, it's not smashable. Sorry. Yeah, Polytoad is definitely the best of the Poliwag line, but still, like, eh. All right, Abra line. Pass on the Abra, of course. Maybe. Kadabra, though? Smash. Okay. Dabra, even though it's a middle evolution, like, he's experienced older right he's got these like nose nose okay alakazam same deal nose he gets it smash okay mega alakazam also smash smash the last two yeah yep oh okay ah there's another thing okay a catch now, once you can, once you get enough Pokemon in this little chat game, you can actually battle them with each other. That's fun. And it works like across other people. So like, Kendra, for your stream, if you want to install this too, then like, it'll work on your stream and it like carries over, right? It carries over to everyone who's using this bot on their various streams. Like it's not just the one stream. 
which is pretty cool. All right, Machop line. I already know. I already know how this is going to go. Pass on Machop. Too baby looking. Smash on Machoke. Smash on Machamp. Definitely smash on Gigantamax Machamp. Like, look at, okay, but the most smashable, you guys, like Machoke. Like, that's just a dude. That's just a dude. That's just a dude. Like, smash, you know? Yeah, big smash. And, like, this is just a dude with extra hands. I mean, a dude can do something with some extra hands. Just saying. Smash. Smash. And smash. Like, I mean, it's the same. It's the same thing. He's just bigger. So, like, smash. Of course. Yeah, I don't know. Those look fun to me. You know, in this form, like, I don't know if I'd be into this on all of them, but, like, in this overall, like, yeah. Oh, we both caught him. Sweet. <clears throat> I think that's what that means. All right. Bell sprout line. Pass on the bell sprout. <gasps> moisty, moisty, yes. Machamp, Machop line, except for the original Machop. Big smash. Welcome in, welcome in. Moisty, if you want to play the, the chat Pokemon chat game with us, you can exclamation um, Poke Start. That will get you started. Um, and then you can play. Bellsprout, probably. But um, pass for the Bellsprout too, baby looking. Um, but smash for Weepin' Bell. And uh, smash for Vectra Bell. Like, I think, like, I get it. Like, I can see it. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> this is what COVID does to you like two weeks later. Yeah, so um pass on Bell Sprout is too baby looking, but like smash. Smash for Weepin' Bell and Smash for Vector Bell. Sure. Alright. Pentacool. Okay, this is like an early evolution that doesn't look baby to me. You know what I'm saying? The vines are smashed. Exactly. And similar reason for tentacool and tentacool, okay? Tentacles are smash. Smash. Okay. Smash for sure. No question. Tentacruel is another one of those that I was like, maybe I should put this on the thumbnail. Like I really thought hard about putting this one on the thumbnail. I decided not to. I decided to go with um with a lighter one. But yeah. Tentacruel. Absolutely. Smash. Or smash, yes. Geodude. Pass on the regular Geodude is too baby. Uh pass on the Alolan form. Like this just looks dangerous. I, I don't know. Then once you get to Graveler, like I have to think about it. You know what I mean? I have to think about it. Like I'm into the design, however, you have to remember it's made of rock. It's gonna be like really, really hard. So, you know. It might be a little too hard. Like, that is a possibility. Too hard. Like, it could happen. You know? Regular in Alolan Golem on a date, though. Yeah, Graveler is a maybe. Alolan Graveler also a maybe. maybe. Alolan Geodude looks like a jerk. He does. The Alolan form Geodude looks like a jerk. Um, Golem, however, though, like, this is a little bit fleshier looking. Like, these, not his body, but, like, his appendages. So I'm more apt to say smash on Golem. And definitely smash on Alolan Golem as well for the same reason. So I definitely think like Golem is in the smash category. Uh, Graveler is like a maybe and Geodude is a pass. Pass. <coughs> All right. Bonita. Bonita, pass. Pass. They're just too baby looking. But both Rapidashes, big smash. Like, look at this. Look at this elegance. Look at this beauty. He is beauty. She is grace. He can kick me in the face. Like, smash. Big smash. I almost, Rapidash was another one that I really considered for the th thumbnail. I really considered putting Rapidash on the thumbnail hard. Like, Look at this. Like, look at this elegance. 
awesome. Like when I look at Rapidash, you know, and like, you know, because it's a hypothetical Pokemon, so I can like take myself reality out of it. It's kind of like, all right, I get it, horse girls. Kind of get it. Looking at Rapidash, I kind of get it. Okay. Slowpoke line. Slowpoke. <laughs> I want to say pass, but like, he's so cute and stupid. Okay. He's so cute and stupid. And I just know it's not. Like, I know it's not pass. It's smash. Slowpoke is smash. Okay. Galarian Slowpoke, smash. Slow bro, sm like the whole line. Slow bro, sm like look at those eyes. He's so. Sweet. Oh my god, he has like two brain cells. Mega slow bro. Now this is pass. Um, the shell overtook him. Like so, I'm not interested in mega slow bro. Um, Larian slow bro. You know, smash. Like the only one of these that I'm not gonna do is the mega slow bro. Yeah, slow king is um is another, is another generation. So. But yeah, slow slow poke line is a big smash. Like this dude has two brain cells and loves hanging out at the beach, right? Like he would take you on the best beach date. You no, know? he'd like teach you how to surf, you know, and he wouldn't be very good at teaching you, but you'd have so much fun. Okay, smash. <coughs> Checking out myself, okay. <laughs> All right, Magnemite. Um, I don't know. I'm sure someone's into this. This is pass. Magneton, pass. Like, it's not for me. Give me for a second because I have to blow my nose, you guys. Not enough to work with pass, yeah. There's an art of someone sitting on top of a magnemite where the screw is. Yeah, someone would be interested in that. I feel like someone would be <clears throat> This is the longest I've talked straight for a while, so um the nose said no. Okay, here we go. Far fetched is next. We've got our regular far fetched here. We've got um Galarian far fetched. I have to say, like Farfetched, meh, eh, it's okay. Like maybe if he said the right stuff, you know. The Galarian Farfetched, smash. Like I don't know, he just looks so dumb, you guys. Like and like the leak is so big, like he can't make a big leak, you know. Smash, <clears throat> smash for the Galarian form. Yeah, just like he just looks like so in control. Sir, tell me more about how you feel. Okay, Doduo. Pass, they could probably talk nice, but yeah. What about when it gets serious? He looks mean, that gets us a smash. Sometimes, but it has to look like, he has to look like mean, but also not that dangerous at the same time. All right, Doduo line. I don't know, this does nothing for me. I mean, the two heads, like, that would be cool, but there's it has a beak, so... Pass on Doduo and Dodrio for the same reason. Like, I just don't, you know, if he had a mouth instead of a beak, I don't know, but pass. <clears throat> All right. Feel. Feel too baby looking. Pass. Oh, you're smash on Dodrio? You're smash on Dodrio, Kendra? I mean,. And he just looks not that fluffy and beak and you like the beak okay and it is definitely a better beak than some of the other beaks we've looked at but yeah okay seal pass on seal um it's too baby looking okay but smash on dugong like i know there's no arms okay but like it just looks so it looks like so nice it looks like so nice like look at those kind this beautiful kind of smash for Dugong, for sure. 
too pretty. Too pretty. No, no such thing. All right, Grimer, smash. Alolan Grimer, also smash. Muck, smash. Alola Muck, also smash. All smash. All smash on all of these guys. Yeah. I mean, I know I was really mad at Grimers and Mucks during my run, their minimize issue, but I mean, I have to be real with myself. Smash, you know, smash. Muck and Grimer, Alolan form and Kanto form. Smash. Yeah, slime. I'm sorry, Koneko. That's okay. More Grimers and Mucks for us. <laughs> Definitely smash. All right. Shelder. Pass. Looks like a baby. And Cloyster, like, okay. I know Cloyster looks very Yonic, all right. But, like, pass. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, okay. Pass, like, it's just, it's not right. It's not right. I guess that's why I am, like, mostly straight. So I look at this and I'm like, pass. Muck minimizing during the smash. Oh my god, Koneko, that's true. That's true. All right, Ghastly. Ghastly, smash. The shower head. Smash. Smash for Haunter. Smash for Gengar. The Gengar line is great. There's a Mega Gengar. Oh, oh, pass. I mean, what is that? Like, this is so much better. Like, look at this nice, friendly round, round face. Like, soft, fuzzy. Yeah. Pass. That tongue. That's right, Kendra. What's this other Gengar? Oh, Gigantamax Gengar. Smash. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, Gigantamax smash. Ghosty smash smash smash, exactly. Uh there's a reason that Gengar is an incredibly popular Pokemon with a lot of people. There's a reason. Alright. Onyx line is next. Oh, there's just one because we're just doing two. Onyx, I know it's a rock, but like you know, it's got the snake shape, so pass. I mean, smash. I meant to say smash. So, like, smash for me for Onyx. Um, it's definitely like my least favorite of like that snake shape one, but still smash. Like, still smash. Snake rock, yes. Drowsy line. Okay, drowsy line. Like, smash. Drowsy. Like, it just. I just, you know, he's, got, like, round. Um, like, he looks like his skin would be really soft, don't you think? It would be really soft. Um, And Hypno, definitely smash. Okay, like, there's just certain things when it comes to a Hypno. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, Drowsy is past because he's too baby looking. What about Hypno, though? Hypno is definitely smash, in my opinion. Big smash. All right, Crabby. Seen too much art of hypno -ness. Uh, pass. Like, no. What is this? Claws, like, no mouth. Uh -uh. Same for Kingler. Pass. Like, no. Gigantamax Kingler, but pass. Like, a pass on all of them. Pass on the crabs. Like, no crabs. Okay, no crabs. <clears throat> All right, Voltorb. Um. Oh, oh, a plusel. Okay, let's try to catch it. Go on a date with Kingler if asked. Yeah. So Voltorb and Electrode line. I don't know. Like, this doesn't interest me. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with just ball, just a sphere. But pass. Like, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. It's not you. 
He's an accessory on Goop. He is an accessory on Goop. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Execute line. It's just like multiple spheres. Like, and it's eggs. Like, eggs are literally babies. Pass. Pass, pass, pass. Executor. Um, pass. Like, it just has legs. It, it does have three faces, but like, there's no arms. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of the executor design in general either. Um, Alolan executor is much better because it's like tall. It looks like a tree. Right? But still, I think if we're talking smash or pass, like, it's pass for me. The ex execute one faster. Would smashing on execute be considered poly? I guess it could be. I mean, I don't know because he's just one Pokemon, but he like they're all separated. So like, I don't know how that works. He's worse. Yeah, he is worse on like the Smasher Pass level. Although I think the design is much better in general. I'm talking Smasher Pass, like no. All right, Cubone, Cubone, Bone, Bone. Um. Pass, he's a baby. But smash for Marowak. I would try to get that skull helmet off. I would try to take that skull helmet off. For sure. Be like, Bip. just try to take it off. And Lolan, Marowak also, smash. Or smash, yeah. Smash 105, yeah. And. All right, Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee, smash. I mean, like again, he like he looks in charge, you know, with those eyes, like kicking, like just like the shape is just like a dude. Yeah, I know he doesn't really have a head or whatever, but like, who cares about a head? Who cares about having a head? Nobody cares about that. Yeah, smash. <clears throat> They look like their brain cells have been knocked out from the sparring they do. Well, that's what's appealing for Hitmonchan. Smash. Like Smash. That's, you know, it's a, it's like they look like a person. Like a person. So Smash for sure. And low brain cells, like there's, that can be a good thing. All right, guys, lick a tongue. Smash or pass on lick a tongue. I think the answer is obvious. Smash. Okay. I would pass on Lickitung. Pass. Would you guys pass on Lickitung? I'm ready to be surprised. It's in my Because to me, this is very obvious. I do love himbos, but not in that way. I know what you mean. Pass not into the tongue. What? What? Definitely smash for me. Definitely smash on Lickitung. Kendra must have stepped away. But I'm pretty sure she would say smash on Lickitung as well. Coughing. Okay. Coughing. We've got the coughing is a singular one. It looks a little bit baby. So pass on coughing. But wheezing. We've got two. Smash. Okay. Smash. I know he's just a gas, but like it's kind of for the same reason as like the Grimer and Muck line. You know what I mean? Smash. It's just like the, you know, gas version instead of sludge. So. Smash. Oh, and we have a Galarian wheezing. Yeah, I mean, smash for the Galarian wheezing as well. Good. Good. <clears throat> okay. Next, we've got the Rhyhorn line. So, Rhyhorn. This is one of the also the few, uh, you know, early evolutions. It doesn't really look that baby to me, but still, like, it's rocks and it doesn't have the appealing, like, so when I look at this Pokemon, I just think like that's a lot of hard edges, hard edges and sharp edges. So I think I am past the Rhyhorn. And I think I'm past on Rhydon as well. They just it's too much, too much rock. Debatable would need a few dates first. Yeah, Rhydon. I feel like yeah. I mean maybe after a few dates, but I'm just like we'll see. Like it's pass on the Rhydon line. And the the nose horn is appealing, not gonna lie. But um it just the body just doesn't look soft. It looks 
ground and rock types, I imagine he's very firm. All right, Chansey. Chansey, smash. Right on D's nuts. <gasps> ah, that's true. Right on D's nuts. Oh, gosh. Chansey, definitely smash. Angela, definitely smash. Oh, my gosh. Definitely smash. Like, no question. Like, what? Pass. Yeah, I think, like, you know, because you weren't really feeling some of the other similar ones that, so. Kangaskhan? Okay, Kangaskhan, if you can get somebody to watch your baby for a little bit, then smash. But, like, you know, if Kangaskhan, like, if this is very unclear in the Poke in, in Pokemon, like, does Kangaskhan always have its baby in the pouch, or is that just how they like to draw it? Like, I was never really fully clear on that. Like, is it still a Kangaskhan once its baby leaves the pouch? Like, I assume so. So, like, this this is throwing me off. But, like, if there's no baby in the pouch, you know. It's like a Kangaskhan that's baby is, is done. Oh, and here's the Mega. Yo, the Mega has them separate. Yeah, not not this one, right? Not this one. Pass on this one, but smash on the big Kangaskhan. Yes. Yes. Okay. Horsey. Horsey line. Pass. It, the regular horsey's too big. But Cedra, I'm a little bit more interested in, although there's, like, no arms or anything. Um, The mouth is, like, this weird tube. So, I don't know. I mean, I'd consider it. I'd talk to them, I think. But um, I'm not like immediately drawn in. You know what I mean? You're smash. You're smash on Cedra, Spartacus. I mean, I see the appeal. Like I would talk to Cedra, and I'd consider it. But like they'd have to say the right things. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Welcome in, by the way, Spartacus. Um, I'm a variety streamer. Today we are doing a Smasher pass on all the Gen One Pokemon to celebrate the fact that I beat my first ever Nuzlocke with the help of my lovely, lovely daughters. Especially Cody, help me get through a lot of things. All right, next is Goldeen line. We've got Goldeen. Um, pass on the Goldeen. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just not, just not drawn to the fish too much. So like I'm, pa I feel like pass on the Goldeen. But like then I get to the Seedra line, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe. I mean, because they have lips, right? Like Goldeen and Sea King have lips, and they have the horn on the head. So I'm like, I don't know. Maybe, but like the a lot of the fish, like water Pokemon, have like no arms or whatever. And so then I'm like, oh, no, about no arms. Yeah, exactly. These ones, they they look like real fish, and I think that's what's ultimately making me go like, oh. <clears throat> are you? It does nothing for me. Okay, we already have covered this with Zubat. No eyes. No eyes is a deal breaker. Okay, no eyes is a deal breaker. No eyes. Like, where are they? Pass. Charmy, same problem. No eyes. Pass. Where are the eyes? Okay. Eyes are required, in my opinion. You know, it's just like, you gotta have, it's just, you gotta have it. <coughs> this one enemy, there's like, enemy, there's like fish people, literally just fish with arms and legs. <laughs> there's a joke about fish kissing someone. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, fish with arms and legs. That would look really weird. That would look kind of like a SpongeBob character. Like, there's SpongeBob characters that are just fish with arms and legs, kind of, I feel like. Like, sort of. That's weird, though. What an Yeah, what anime is it? And I'll pull up a picture of what you're talking about. It's not Gyo. It's a different. Is it in One Piece? One Piece. <clears throat> well, that is what these these look like, though. Ah, uh, here I'll show you. All right. You like? They're just like fish faces. But they otherwise look like people. 
Yeah, Koneko, I closed the Discord because it uses up a lot of resources. Yeah, these really do just look like fish tails. Like fish tails. Vintage. Got it on my screen. <clears throat> Oh, 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 I know what this is. Isn't this, um, yeah, this is in the Lena Inverse, isn't it? Unsa. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is in Lena Inverse. Yeah. That's a good show. That's a good show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen all of Lena Inverse. It's good. But that was an OG anime back in the day. <coughs> well, probably because they're children. Like, I'm pretty sure everybody in Lena Inverse, like, everybody back in the 90s, early 2000s saw, you know, the Lena Inverse. They made a lot of it. There's a lot of episodes of that. All right. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. Um, I know that on most of like the ones that are like just people, I've been like Smash, but like I just can't. Mr. Mime's design is so weird. Ass. Like I don't care how human he looks. Ass. <laughs> when I talk to people that they don't know it, Mr. Mime's hard pass. Mr. Mime's pass. Kendra, welcome back. Welcome back, love. All right, here's the Galarian Mr. Mime. It's still creepy. It the, this other Mr. The Ice Mr. No, pass. Okay, Scyther. Um, no, I can. I mean, the eyes. It's the angry eyes. Like he looks so fierce. I'd consider it. Like, I'm leaning towards Smash for Scyther. I think. <coughs> Jinx. Pass. Sorry. It's the same reason as Mr. Mime. I just find this design creepy. I just I find this design creepy if for the human looking Pokemon. Pass. Um, like why'd they do her like that? Why why? If she doesn't have, why they if they would have just given her a neck, then Jinx would be awesome. But Jinx feels racist. Jinx is super racist. I mean, remember originally this was not purple, this was like literally like black like black black um like ink black color and it looked exactly like those old racist cartoons you know um so yes 100 percent. they changed her to purple it doesn't quite look like that but you can still tell that that was um her inspiration not a good look Pokemon. all right but electabuzz smash okay and like it looks fuzzy it looks like in charge with those eyes. Smash. Pass your pass on Electabuzz. Smash on Electabuzz. Got dad bod. Yeah, exactly. I like, like, this is nice. This is cuddly. You know what I'm saying? Might go on a date if they asked me. They'd probably be a good date. Magmar. Magmar, um, pass for me. I don't know the beak, like the beak and like the eyes. I mean, he looks. I know I've liked a lot of the other ones that are really dumb looking, but he's like dumb looking in a bad way to me. But I think I'm pass on the Magmar, unfortunately. Like it's just you know, just yeah. Sorry, Magmar. Like I'm sure you're a nice guy. I'm sure you're a nice guy, but like, I just, I just don't think it's. <laughs> in Japanese, his name is Boober. In Magby, his name is Booby. What? The Magmar ain't even got no Boobers. Where are they? They aren't there. Whatever. The bill is softest, matched the bill is hardest. Pass. Okay. I can agree with that to an extent, Spartacus. I can agree with that. If the bill is soft, then I'd consider it a lot more. But if that bill is hard, then it's just, I just don't think it's. Pinsir. Pinsir is pass for me. I can't handle whatever the heck is going on. Pass. Pass. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, sorry, you guys. No, I keep coughing. I didn't think I would cough this much, you know. But I am. Mega Pincer, it has the same problem. It has the same problem. This mouth, I just... I just can't. I just can't. No. Poros. <clears throat> Poros? Smash. Poros is smash. Like, got the Dom eyes. Okay. He looks fluffy. Fuzzy. Okay. I think smash for Tauros. Maybe smash. Yeah. Definitely not as high up there as some of the other, like, similar kind of Pokemon, but I think he's good. Tauros is a bit buff for me. Oh, I understand. Magikarp. Uh, pass. It, like, it's literally just a fish. I'm sure somebody's into that, but it's just a fish, you guys. It's just a fish. Gyarados, however. Gyarados is smash. Okay. Smash. Absolutely. Smash. Mega Gyarados, also smash. Okay. Also smash. It's Quentin Carantino. What? Hey, Blue. How's it going? We're playing Smash or Pass to celebrate finishing the um, Nuzlocke that we did. Um, we're actually getting close to the end, but you can play with us. And we also, I installed a new chat game, so you need to exclamation Poke Start. And there's like a thing down in the, um, in the about that has like the panel for it. And then if you want instructions, PC, exclamation PCG. That's the, oh yeah, Blue, you missed it at the top. You can hear it in my voice, can't you? I, I had the vid. I had I had the COVID. The weekend before last I was gone because actually, you know, I went somewhere. We like we went on a thing for my dad's birthday and I got the vid. Got the vid of the thing. And um uh, I'm just now recovering. I actually feel fine today, but of course my my voice is still jacked up. So I'm sorry for that. Maybe by Saturday my voice will be normal. I hope so. We'll find out. But yeah, definitely smash on the Gyarados. As I said, let's scroll up. Most of you guys agree. Smash with Gyarados, Mega Gyarados, debatable. I can't with the <laughs> quadruped pass on Tauros. Oh, okay, I understand. Gyarados pass if his head was shaped different. Okay. Yep. Oh, you got a Poke Buddy. Very, very cool. Okay, Lapras. I know he doesn't have any arms. I know he just has flippers, but like, he looks so nice and friendly. Um, smash. Okay, smash. And let's see for the Gigantamax, also smash. I think smash on both of them. Like, yeah, exactly, Kendra. Like, he looks like just like a good, you know, if I was going to write something that was like with a sea monster, like this, I think it's something like this is what I would go for if I wanted it to be like a really like sea monster. You know what I mean? Smash so hard, the eyes, the eyes. Like, look at that. Come hither. Look at that. That's true. <coughs> yep, for sure. All right, yeah, smash on both. Smash on both, Gigantamax and regular. Ditto, smash. Ditto is the horniest, the sexiest, must smash. Okay. Um, Is there a mega smash option? Because I swear I would use it on Jinx. No, Blue, really? You're a Jinx fan? We all talked about how Jinx's um design was like one of the few humans that were like, eh, no. <clears throat> Ditto only if it transforms. And you know it would for you, Koneko. You know it would. It would transform. Okay, Eevee. The regular Eevee, just like a lot of the others, it looks baby to me. So, like, pass, but, like, I love it. You know, I babysit for the Eevee. You know, as Koneko said for several of the Pokemon, I babysit for the Eevee. Gigantamax Eevee, however, smash. Absolutely smash Gigantamax Eevee. <clears throat> Sorry, the cat was making a weird thing. Okay, Gigantamax Eevee. Okay. It's time for the meme Pokemon, you guys. Smash or pass on Vaporeon? Smash or pass on Vaporeon? You know the copy pasta. I know the copy pasta. We all know the copy pasta. Bro, the Gigantamax going to be smashing you. That's what I want, Blue. That's all I want in life. Smash on every Eevee. Smash. 
I think you have to smash, right? Like you have to smash on Vaporeon, right? As the meme says, it is the perfect Pokemon for Smash. Not sure if I like the texture. Well, it's water. It's water, Koneko. You know the meme, right? You know the meme. Vaporeon. Let me see. Vaporeon. Me copy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we read it? Guys, should we read it? Oh, you know it. Okay, good. Scale texture. It has to be Mega Splash then. No, okay, so go. I'm going to read it. I have to. Hey, guys. Did you know that in terms of male human and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they in the field egg group, which is most com mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeon are an average of three foot three inches tall. 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human damage. Their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor can be rough with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that an aroused Vaporeon would be incredibly wet. So wet that you could easily have sex with one for hours without getting sore. They can also learn the moves Attract, Baby Doll Eyes, Captivate, Charm, and Tail Whip, along with not having fur to hide nipples. So it would be incredibly easy for one to get you in the mood. With their abilities water absorb and, absorb and hydration, they can easily recover from fatigue with ease. No other Pokemon comes close to the level of compatibility. Also, fun fact, if you pull out enough, you can make your Vaporeon turn white. Vaporeon is literally built for your dick. Ungodly, intense stat, plus high HP pool, plus acid armor, means it can take cock all day. All shapes and sizes can still come for more. The copy pasta, you have to say smash on Vaporeon. For that. Someone put a lot of work into that, okay? Someone put a lot of work into thinking about the lore of Pokemon <laughs> for that copy pasta. All right. Jolteon, also smash. I mean, all of the evolutions, I think. Clarion, definitely smash. Look at how fluffy. Look at how freaking fluffy he is. <laughs> right, exactly. Someone put a lot of thought into that. Jolteon's debatable. <clears throat> Flareon's pass. No, Flareon's the best one if we're talking Smash or Pass. So fluffy. So fluffy. Giga Smashed here. Yeah. Porygon. What do we think about Porygon? It doesn't make me feel anything. I think I'm pass on Porygon. Like, no mouse. Very angular. I don't know. Meh. Like, I feel nothing when I look at Porygon. Pass, I think. Looks a little more mature. I'd smash Flareon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need like a a, a grandpa looking um, Flareon. Exactly. Smash? You're smash on Porygon? Really? Really, Kendra? Explain it to me. I don't understand it. <coughs> he does have dead eyes. Yeah. Maybe that's why I feel nothing when I look at him because his eyes are dead. Robots are smash. Oh, okay. Robots are smash. I mean, if it's Jude Law robot, sure. This no personality here, I don't think. Sorry, Kendra. I'm an IT. Um, pass. It just, I mean, it looks like ba it looks baby, but I'm a star. Like I would consider it, but like it needs to keep this closed. Like it needs to keep this closed. Like this, I don't like this, but we can like do something with this here, like these tentacles here. Um. So yeah, pass. For Amanite, but smash for Amistar, but like we gotta set up some ground rules. You know what I'm saying? Lord Helix must stay pure. <laughs> we never ended up using our Lord Helix in um in our playthrough, did we? But we did have one. <clears throat> yeah, the mouth is a no. Kabuto, pass, pass, pass. It just it looks so little, baby. Um, Kabutops. I don't know. What's that blade hand. I don't know. It's pass for me. Pass for me. Like, oh, I just don't think so. I'm telling you, it's all about the inhuman, the danger, the monstrous. Yeah, but Kendra, like, I'm more for the danger whenever they have fur, is what 
I think you're probably noticing what I'm noticing. How can you all pass on Lord Helix himself? I didn't. I just said we have to talk about the mouth before, like, anything happens. Do you see the original Let Me Smash video? I don't know. Probably. I know everybody was doing this meme about a month ago. I'm super late to the party. But I wanted to finish the Nuzlocke first before we did it. I would have done it last Thursday, but, like, I was dying, so we didn't. <laughs> Robot stamina. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. I get it. I get it. Not for me. Aerodactyl. Um, pass. Yeah. No. Mega Aerodactyl also pass. No. You let me smash. I don't know. That does sound familiar. Maybe I've seen it. So Chris says smash Aerodactyl, but most everybody says pass. Pass on the meta. Yeah, all these like spike things. Like, yeah, big pass. Pass, pass. But I mean, y'all know I'm going to say smash on Snorlax. Absolutely smash on Snorlax. I know his eyes are closed, but like he's just so big and comfy looking. You know, maybe I can pry his eyes open somehow. We can make it work. I just want to lay on him. You know, that. Smash. For sure, on Snorlax. Um, and Smash on Gigantamax Snorlax, I'm not going to lie. As far as you're taking into consideration the Mega Evolutions, I'm just doing it because this website has them, so why not? <coughs> smash, yep, Smash. Smash on Snorlax. All right, we're on to some legendaries. Articuno. Um, this, I think this bird is beautiful. Okay. I know it has a beak. I know it's a bird. Whatever. I'd still smash. It, like, it's beautiful. Like, I love Articuno. Articuno's so pretty. One of my favorite legendary Pokemon. Fun fact, if you put all Snorlax sprites next to each other, finishing up with the XY 3D model, it looks like it just woke up, is trying to get up, falls once. Oh, that's so cute, Koneko. That's so cute. I don't know how I would smash the Gigantamax that I would. I, you'd have to get creative, right, Chris? We're not at Dragonair yet. He's after the birds. Smash, yeah, smash. Only after a few dates first. Understand. Yeah, Articuno is not really my type, but like, so beautiful. No. Um, but I have to say for um, Galarian. Well, no, Galarian form also smash. Galarian form also smash. Articuno is still beautiful. Yeah, exactly. He has the best tail. Um, but Zapdos, Zapdos is pass. Like. Spiky, the so long. Pass. Pass on the Galarian Zapdos too. Like, what is this? Like he's not even a bird, you know? Like he's flying. Here he's running. Yeah, no tail pass. Date him if he asks, that makes sense. <coughs> Galarian, I'm not into it. I don't know. It just this is thick thighs. Thick thighs save lives, that is true. If you're into those thick thighs saving lives, then Galarian Zapdos has got it. Galarian Zapdos got them thick thighs. Moltres. Um, pass. If I liked the bird, if I liked bird better, then I might smash, but I just don't like it. I like the Pidgey line, except for Pidgey itself, as far as smash or pass goes, and I like Articuno. Pass. Larian Moltres also passed, although I do like this design much better than the original Moltres. Pass still. Larian Zapdos is just Roadrunner, but punk. Yeah. Punk Roadrunner. Okay, here we go with the Dratini line, you guys. Okay, Dratini itself, unfortunately too baby, pass, but Super Smash. Okay. Super Smash. Smash all day, smash all night. Okay. Dragonair, let me smash. Like, it's so elegant. It's beautiful. It's snake like. Like, I mean, I just like horn on the head, beautiful soft eyes. What is this? Beautiful tail with little ball things. Like, oh my gosh. Um, smash. Smash, 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 smash. Um, and smash for Dragonite too. Dad bod dragon, I'm here. I like it. Smash. Um, so Dragonite line, Dragonair line, very good. Very, very good. Smash. 
All right, you too. Smash. Smash regular Mewtwo. Okay. What'd you just think of, Karneko? Smash, yes, absolutely. <coughs> yeah, who would pass on Mewtwo? I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see if anybody says pass on Mewtwo. I'm not seeing anybody saying pass on Mewtwo. I mean, Mewtwo, literally, you know, Mewtwo is smarter than you. Mewtwo is smarter than humans. Like, you know, um, we don't ask Mewtwo for consent. Mewtwo asks us for consent, right? Like, that's how that works. Uh, Slayers earlier, right? Dilia, her dragon forms reminds me of the new Dragonite. True, it does. That's true, that's true. All right, Mega Mewtwo X. Also Smash. Not as excited about it, but Smash. Um, Smash. Like, I, but I'm not, I'm not as, like, the Mega, the Mega X and Y, like, the best design for Mewtwo is the regular Mewtwo. Okay, Smash. But, like, these are fine. I'd Smash, you know? I'd Smash. It's okay. <coughs> Mewtwo controls you for consent. Still counts. Yeah, whatever. I mean, in fic it does. Yeah. And you can only have Pokemon in fic, so. And Mew. Last but not least, Mewtwo Baby. Pass, definitely, for Mew. I know that Mew also is like very intelligent, original Pokemon, all of that, but just it looks like a baby. I'm sorry. So it doesn't matter to me. You know, if it's actually really intelligent, pass on Mew. Pass on Mew. <coughs> Bruh. Giga Smash Mew. Wow, Blue, really? Giga Smash Mew? It looks very curious. I would cuddle. Oh, yeah, Mew would be good for cuddle. All right, so that's it, you guys. We smashed or passed every single Gen 1 Pokemon. Oh, the baby camp's still on, even if there's no baby. Oh, cool. All right. The precursor to everything, it's got to be. I mean, your logic's not wrong. Your logic's not wrong. All right, you guys. Here's what we're going to do next. We have some more time. So I know, know we normally do like quizzes at the beginning, and we did do a quiz at the beginning this time, but I'm going to do another one at the end. Because I knew this was going to happen. We were going to be like saying no to a lot of the ones that look baby. So let's actually do a quiz about baby Pokemon. Which baby Pokemon should you raise? You know them, you love them, babies. Baby Pokemon are Pokemon that can be obtained via breeding, cannot be bred, can evolve, and are the first Pokemon of their respective evolutionary lines. They are, and this is just a list. We're going to find out which baby Pokemon we should raise. So if you're not here during the top of the streams, the way this works is we do the quiz. Um, you tell me what you got. I show you what I got. We learn a little bit about each other. It's good fun. Before we start, though, I have to blow my nose again, so we're going to mute for a second. I cannot wait to be done with all this phlegm. My gosh, I'm feeling better, but like, oh, so much phlegm. Awful. Okay, anyway, let's do this quiz. So what do you want a Pokemon partner for just to hang out with? I love having a little creature around. Use its powers to help others, to play with, form a deep soul bond with, for fighting. Okay, I like to hang out with my animals. So I think that's how I feel for Pokemon. What do you look for in a friend? Someone who is always there for me when I need them. Someone who makes me laugh till my stomach hurts. Someone who calms me down when I'm panicking. Someone who likes all the same things I do. Someone who tells the cashier I didn't want pickles. Someone I can just relax with and not worry about anything. Definitely relax. Out of the following, which color do you prefer? Oh, pink is here, so you gotta go for pink. You got friend? You got friend? What's that mean, Koneko? Who you got? What's your idea of a good day? Volunteering in my community, relaxing on the couch, playing video games, hanging with friends, working out, exploring the outdoors. I like playing video games. We got Munchlax. 
you love to chill, you want a partner you can binge YouTube essays and eat pizza with, and Munchlax is here for you. This is little forehead right now. Aw, that's cute. You got P2 on my basic. I don't know. What does the text say? What does the text say, Spartacus? If you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, good. Ha! I don't have to choose a dog. Actually, I'd be a cat. That's more accurate. So Pichu says, Pichu, oh boy, you got Pichu. You're full of energy and looking for a challenge. It's going to be a lot of work to build a bond with this horrible little goblin, and you can't wait. Just get a pair of rubber gloves or something. Pichu is definitely a little gremlin. I think that is accurate. So that doesn't sound basic. That sounds like, you know, like a challenge. <clears throat> What's your love language? Gifts, acts of service. Quality time, words of affirmation, physical touch, not going to lie. These all sound terrible. Um, physical touch, I think, is probably where I'm. Choose a dessert. Oh, we've got cake, custard tarts, cotton candy, s'mores, fruit. I don't really like cake. I love cake. A good cake is awesome. Now, I know that a lot of cakes are bad and they go stale or whatever. A really good, fresh cake. So good. You like kids, you're okay. I'll tolerate them for shorter periods of time. Like I don't mind watching other people's kids, you know, but I don't want to spend like a lot, a huge amount of time with them. Like a, a day is enough, you know, babysitting or something. Um, and I definitely don't want to have my own. They're fine. Introvert or extrovert or ambivert? Introvert. I would. I love I love cake. I'm celiac, but I love cake. Oh no, I'm sorry, Sparta Chris. And you know what? I have tried those like gluten free cakes. And I I did have one friend in college that was celiac. She made them and she swore they were so good. And I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, these are great, friend. I'm totally not just like eating a brick of chocolate. I pretended to like them. Some gluten free cakes aren't bad. Yeah, but they're not good either. <laughs> you got Togepi? What does Togepi say? I bited you. Um, okay, please don't do that again. Bites you back. Yeah, bites you back. I bite my animals back. Okay, we don't do these. We skip. I got Cleffa. Cleffa, you're a dreamer. People often say you're in your own little world, but you probably weren't paying attention to them. Oh, no. You and your Cleffa will spend many a night gazing at the stars together. Oh, that's cute. <clears throat> you're a shining beacon of kindness in this cruel world. Do your best to be kind and share those and share with those around you and you don't understand why other people don't. When life gets too hard, you have a togepi to share happiness with. Oh, that's cute. So you can get you can also get Mime Jr. Oh, this doesn't show me all the possible answers. It doesn't show me Togepi. Um But you can also get Pichu. Get Mime Jr. A lot of people get Mime Jr. No, I don't. I wonder if Happiny is not even on the quiz. I don't know because I don't even because this doesn't. But it, it obviously isn't showing me everything because it doesn't show me Togepi and you got Togepi. So <clears throat> Happiny is a zero percent. Oh, so maybe it's like really hard to get it or the combination just doesn't work out. All right. We have we have some time left in the. What's that word game people like to play on Twitch? Words on screen. Play some word game. And I could have gotten Riolu. Riolu's really cool. <coughs> I want to play some words on stream. Yeah. So how do I post words on screen? See the video game. <laughs> the Oh, I think I just have to exclamation start. Okay. 
Have you played Squirtle, the Pokemon Wordle clone? No, let's play that. Squirtle. His Pokemon theme. Squirtle, Pokemon word like. Okay. Here we go. You guys can see my screen. Y'all play with me, though. I have eight guesses. Goji key. Oh, I see. It's like Wordle. It's Wordle. It's, so it's not It's not like words on stream. It's like Wordle. All right. Bye, Koneko. Okay, let's try this. You'll help me. First guess is always Lucario. Okay, we'll do a new game. This isn't timed or anything, right? Oh, I see how it works. You just type it in. It is just like Wordo. Wordle. Lucario. On not found. Oh, it could ask what it is. Okay, so it is in that gen, but it's not those types, and it's lower height and weight. So what gen is Lucario in? Lucario is in generation four. Generation four Pokemon. Yeah, it's a small gen four Pokemon. Yeah. So what's some small Gen 4 Pokemon? It's not, yeah, it's not Steeler Fighting. So it's it's not going to be Steeler Fighting. It's going to be small. Um, If it does this, does that mean it's it is does have two types for sure? Or could it potentially be a monotype? There's definitely some small, like, monotypes. No? I can think of, um... No, okay. okay we're gonna guess Pachi Risa. It could be a monotype. Oh, no, so it's bigger than Pachi Risu, but smaller than Lucario. Okay. What does the blue mean? I think it's just looking at the arrows, so, like... The height is less and the weight is less, and its height is more and the weight is more than Pachirisu. No, it could be monotype. It is dual type. Oh, because we guessed a monotype and it said no. Okay, so it is a dual type. Dual type that's smaller than Lucario and bigger than Pachirisu. I don't really know a lot of the Pokemon sizes. Um, but let's Oh, wait, it'll tell me. So the weight is 1.2 and the height is 15. Not stunky. That's the same. This is what I get for not paying attention to the decks. Monferno? Okay, we can guess Monferno. Monferno, 0.9, and then... So it could be. Yeah, it could be Monferno. Let's try. Okay, so it is 0.9 in height. But it's not Monferno. Smaller than 20. Smaller than 20. Type. What else is in general? Abine? Okay. So, no, it's height. Point nine. So it's some kind of dual type that's got a point nine. So I guess we could just like look through and figure out what the point nine height what else might be around that height. Oh. Oh. Fighting feel. Can somebody 
question for sure. That's a, oh wait, that's a monotype, so that's not gonna work. Onyx? It can't be Onyx because it's in Gen 4. On. Somebody is point nine. Aha, here's somebody that's point nine. Dark or dark and flying. Dark flying, that's a toss up. Three. Not less than this. Can't be hot crow. Can't be hot crow. Felix? Oh, let's. No, it's Gen 2. Water ground gen four is that water ground Felix is definitely polygon. That's true. That's not that's not hmm. Weighs less than one. No, I tried Gastrodon. The uh, Gastrodon weighs too much, twenty nine point nine, and it weighs less than point. So it's like something that's the same height as Monferno, but. <laughs> what Pokemon intros you got? Okay, that's possible. Got it. Roserade. Hell yeah. Okay. That's kind of hard. That's kind of hard. You know? First 10 seconds. Oh, that's too much. Got it. Roserade. Okay, new game. Try another. All right. Um, we're going to start with Vaporeon this time. Okay, so it is a Gen 1. That was lucky. And it is a 1. But it is not single type. And it's water. <clears throat> the Roserade's Gen 4. 8 guesses. No, it's, this is from Gen 1 to 8. So it's telling. Like, you can have it do just Gen 1 Pokemon or just a few Gens. Like, if you never played the later games or whatever. But all is fine. All right, so it's not water. Same height as a Corian, which is not there. Yeah, Roserade is Gen 4. Exactly. Oh, 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 you're right, you're right. Seven guesses. I understand. Thank you. All right, so same size. Better freeze top about B. Still is one. Five. Slightly bigger. Oh. I guess I'm too good when it comes to the Gen 1 Pokemon. <coughs> <coughs> I guess it depends on like which Pokemon it is. And how many like guesses you need. Yeah, that one was super fast. Okay, let's go again. Okay. 
What's y'all's favorite Pokemon? Apparently. I mean, the anime definitely does not do like the heights accurately when it comes to Pokemon. I will say that. Who do we guess first, you guys? What do y'all think? Y'all tell me. Who would you guess first? What do you think? Toxitex? Okay. Toxitex was pretty cool. All right. So it is a poison. It does have poison in its typing. So it's poison something. Um, Toxapex is Gen 7. So it's a Gen 8 Pokemon. All right. So it's a Gen 8 poison type. Bigger than Toxapex. What else is poison in Gen 8? And I guess it's not poison water. It's poison something else. What if we just use a cheat answer of ditto? Ternatus? Try it. Oh, okay. Well, it's not as big as Eternatus. It's smaller. Oh, what's that? Um, is it this one? No. Okay. So it's definitely poison for the first type, not the second type. Okay, so I didn't understand that. That's how that works. So when it says that, like, this is correct, it means that, like, poison is in the right. Other poisons are in Gen 8. What else is there besides the Eternatus? I got a G ball. Oh, cool. Valerian Weezing. Yeah, oh. Oh, but no. <coughs> Could it be Galarian slow, bro? I guess it does because the typing is different. Galarian Slowbro, no, because Galarian Slowbro is, no, that's Slowproke, where's Galarian Slowbro? Poison Psychic, 1.6, so we know it's bigger than 0.7, it's bigger than, oh no, because this is exactly 1.6. Excuse me. Smaller one. Gotta be a poison I've never heard of. <clears throat> oh, and he's fighting poison as well. Not poison fighting. I swear that's all the poison Pokemon. That's all the poison Pokemon in this generation.
No, he's dark poison, not poison dark. No, Slow King doesn't seem to fit. Like, there's there is Galarian um Slow King that's poison psychic. 1.8 meters and 79.5 grams. So it's gonna be bigger than point set point uh point one point six. He's gonna be smaller than three. He's in between one point six and three for his height. Oh wait, no, Galarian Slow King is. Oh my god. Galarian Slow King. Duh. Larian Slow King does fit. All right. We're going to play again. I want to end on a better one. I want to end on a better one. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't read, apparently. That's what happens. Okay, let's see. Um, Who else? Let's do Corsola. That would be cool if we hit it first try. Okay, so we've got a Gen 2. Here then Corsola. I don't think that's possible. Because I think based on the first one that you do, like, because it generates how many guesses and all that stuff. That. Okay, Corsola is pretty small. Oh. It is a single type, and it is a height of 1.4. It's smaller than 61 and bigger five for the width. <coughs> Excuse me. Not, not electric. It's a different single type. And two. Single type. Not water, so it's not going to be the water starter. Granville? Oh, yeah, Granville's a single type, 1.4. Yeah, Granville's 1.4. Okay. Oh, okay, it's littler than Granville. Not fairy. We've got 1.4. Weight is smaller than 40. It's bigger than Chikorita. I don't have the grass, grass type of thing. Right. Who else is one? Pet is one. Bird. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, but birds aren't single. Catch your Pokemons, hit them on top. Oh, it could be. Top one. Yes. Haven't ruled out fighting yet. Fighting. There we go. Hit them on top. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's go ahead and wrap up stream. I'm going to find somebody that we can raid. While I'm looking for that, I will let you guys know. Um, you can support me in all of the usual ways. 
Uh, I do things basically like most other content creators. You know, you can subscribe to the Twitch. You can do bits. Um, I've got a tip jar down there. You know, all that normal stuff. My main social media that I use is um, Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter. That's where you can get all of like the, you know, diff different um, updates that I do. Like that always is like the most updated information on what's going on with me and my schedule and things like that. I also have a Discord server. If you want to make sure that you get notifications for streams and videos and things of that nature, the Discord is the best place because if the bots break, I can do those you know, notifications pretty quickly. If you don't want to trust Twitch. To do your notifications, um, I recommend joining the Discord. If you want to see anything and everything from me, you can also uh, join the card. And if you missed the, um, missed the uh, actual Nuzlocke that we did that we're celebrating today, you can go find all of the VODs on my YouTube channel. So you can go and see that. <clears throat> um, next week on Thursday... We are going to be going back to our Sims 2 Pleasant View playthrough that we started five ever ago, and we just never circled back to. Um, I'm doing rotational play. We're going to be on the Dreamer household with uh, Darren's painting that he likes to do at the beginning. So we're going to play next week on Artistic License on Thursday, 6.30 to 8.30 Eastern Time. On Saturday, we are going to be doing our community day of Stardew Valley. So if you're interested in playing Stardew Valley, then um, you definitely want to get in my Discord and you want to get the farmer role. That's where all of that information is. Stardew Valley with me. Blue, don't worry. We're going back soon. My next goal is to finish Final Fantasy X. So we got to go finish the Omega Ruins monster capturing and we got to start fighting some of those optional bosses. We haven't fought really any of those optional bosses yet too much. So we're going to be working doing that um, next. And since the Nuzlocke is finished, I got to go back and actually finish all these optional stuff in Final Fantasy um, so that's where that is. Don't worry, it's coming soon. That's it. That's what's going on um, with all of my things and what we're going to be doing. So yeah, Saturday stream is Stardew Valley. That is noon to two Saturday. That's uh, interstage with. Okay, we're gonna raid to Madam MG. Okay, she is playing Bioshock Remastered. This. Oh my gosh! Excuse me. This is her very first time playing Bioshock, so we're going to go support her in playing that game. All right, there we go. Wait is going. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. It was nice to stream with you. Um, but we'll stream on Saturday too, so I'll see you guys then. And um, of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.